Now this next question I want to ask is in case someone's watching the show that's not a sports buff or knows your background. Just for clarity, you've coached your entire professional career, female athletes. Yes. Correct. Sure have. Why is that? Was that by design? And what's the difference between men, male and female athletes? Okay. Interpret it any way you want. Once I, as, as I say, retired sure. from playing right. college ba right. basketball, uh, I, I needed a job. Mm -hmm. So uh, where I went to high school at Highlands uh, High School, they had a seventh grade girls job okay. that, that was open. So I said, I'll do it. I'm in. I love it. So that's what I, my first two coaching years were with seventh grade girls. And then my sister was a sophomore in high school at the time. And she'd okay. always played summer basketball in, in, in Ohio mm -hmm. because there wasn't an organization in Kentucky for her to play with. So I'd asked her if I'd formed a, a summer tra travel team, an AAU basketball team at the time, would she play? And, and she agreed. So I went out, and we had some very talented players in the state of Kentucky at that time. Kyra Elzey, Yukari Figs played at Purdue when they won a national championship. Okay. Marita Porter, Shea Lunsford, all kids that went on to play okay. high-level Division I basketball. Right. And then I added my sister to that mix. So for two summers, I had a great time coaching this, the, that, that, that group of young, uh, of, of young women. Mm -hmm. And then my sister was actually National Player of the Year out of high school in 1996. So a lot of people offered me graduate assistant jobs sure, with the hope of possibly ha having her come to their school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I grew up, I finished my undergraduate degree in secondary education. Right. So I had planned on Mentioned teaching and coaching bio. in the state of Kentucky at that time. And I'm not sure if it's still the same. You had five years to start your master's, okay. five to finish, or your certificate was void. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go to Western Kentucky and plan on get my master's degree and then go back into coaching. Uh, and, and, and teaching in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, but it just kind of worked out. Coached there for two years. The head coach, Paul Sandiford, at the time, mm -hmm. took the job at Nebraska a, a, as the head w women's coach out there, asked me to go. I said, sure, I'm in. And that's kind of how Karma. my job, you know, it's been that, that way since then. Uh -huh. I've had the opportunity to switch over to men sure. uh, a few times. Uh, but the women's game, the one thing I love about it is when we go out and recruit players, we're getting the opportunity to coach them for four years. Absolutely. You know, the men, you get some of these, you know, one, a one and done. Yeah, they're in, they're in, in, in your program show. for two yeah. years. You, you don't get the chance to watch them mature, watch mm -hmm. them grow. You know, in women's basketball, they're, they're coming in as a 17, 18-year-old and leaving as a 22 or 23-year-old. Right. And the transformation that takes place in those four or five years is amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun to see them come in as kids. Right. You know, and, and they're leaving as women. Right. And it, it, it's a, a, a satisfaction that you really can't put a dollar amount on. Mm -hmm.